listening. When you were a kid, did you help around the house by doing chores? I don't really like doing chores, but one of the things I do at home and at my parents' office is take out the, take out the trash. I use these white trash bags to collect all the garbage in the house or office to take out for the garbage man to take away. The trash bags are usually very messy and smelly looking on, and smelly on the inside. They are full of useless items that don't do us any good. Looking at the outside of the bag, you do not know what's on the inside. The outside looks white and clean. What would happen if we never took out the trash? We would live in filth. Our houses would be nasty. We would likely make our bodies sick by living in unsanitary conditions. Do you ever think about the trash we may carry on the inside of us? Yes, the trash inside of us. We all have it. We carry in the trash inside of us, but the good news is that Jesus can help us take out the trash. And if we strive to follow him, the trash can stay out of our lives, and we can have hope of living in him in heaven one day. In Mark chapter 1, starting in verses 21, we can read that when Jesus began his ministry, he would teach the synagogue. There were people that would go hear him that had problems. People that were seeking Jesus were sick in their bodies, and they had diseases. Some were sick in their spirits, too. They had unclean spirits, and they had trash on the inside. And Jesus could see they needed help. Jesus helped them. He cast out the unclean spirits. He took the trash out of them. He wanted them to have a clean spirit on the inside. As you know, we do not have unclean spirits taking over our bodies today but we can dirty our spirits by the choices we make every day. We should strive to be holy, and 2 Corinthians 7, 1 says, Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse, cleanse ourselves from every defilement of the body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. We should strive to keep ourselves pure and clean. We can control our thoughts and actions. How wonderful is it that we have Jesus today to save us? When we sin, it's like piling up garbage all around us and in us. If we are mean and hurt someone's feelings, we are carrying trash. If we get angry for no reason and stay mad, we are carrying trash. If we say bad words, we are carrying trash. If we do what our friends do and we know it's wrong, that is filling us with trash too. Just like taking out a house of trash, taking out spiritual trash takes effort. We have to make choices and take actions to do this job. But Jesus can help. He does not want us to carry the trash around with us. He wants us to take the trash out of our lives. He wants us to repent and ask him to forgive us. He wants us to free us from our sins. If we repent, he'll forgive us and help us clean up our lives. What does the Bible tell us on how to clean up our, our hearts? And James 4, 8 says, Draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your sinners, and purify your hearts. You're double-minded. In 1 John 1, 9, the Bible says, if we, confess our sins, he, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us from our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Haven't you heard that our body is a temple? Would anyone store and fill a temple with trash? And 1 Corinthians six nineteen tells us, or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. We should keep our minds and bodies clean and holy. We need to keep your thoughts and not damage our bodies. And 2 Timothy 2.22 instructs us to flee from sin and seek God. It says to flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, along with those who call the Lord from a pure heart. Whether we are young or old, a new Christian or a mature Christian will always have struggles and temptations. We need to be holy. We must focus on Christ. We must be obedient all our lives grow in growing our, our knowledge of God holiness. The word holy means to separate. The word holy is a notion from God, purity, meaning he is separated from sin. When God calls us to be holy, he is asking us to separate from the world, removing ourselves from sin and following him. 
As I mentioned earlier, to keep the sinner trash out of your lives, we must actively work at it. Galatians 5.16 says, Walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the de desire of the flesh. For the desire of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desire of the Spirit are against the flesh. For they are opposed to each other. To keep you from doing the things you want to do. <coughs> Romans 8.13 says, For it you live accordingly to your flesh, you will die. But by the Spirit you put your two de de deaths, the deeds of the body, you will live. We must also be sober. This means to be alert and self-controlled. And 1 Peter 1.13 tells us, Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hopefully on grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Fill yourself with the word of God, not, not the worldly trash that will profit you nothing. 